Good cloudy morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? Today, I'm going to design and build, at least try to, if it don't rain, the generator slide-out drawer. Now, if I, if this thing works out the way I want it to, it's going to come out about halfway out to here, or maybe even more. I've got a two by three. I'm going to drill down and I'm going to screw it on end. There's going to be two tracks. I've got half inch plywood. I got a 48 by 44 or 45 inch piece here, which is bigger than I really need. And on the edge here, I'm going to be mounting these metal strips that you just saw. I had a guy at Home Depot cut it down over 10 feet and it was too long for the pickup truck, but I don't need 10 feet. This is going to be, this is 5 eighths. They don't make them half inch. This is made for 5 eighths inch thick sheetrock. It's galvanized and what it's going to do is it's going to go on both edges of the plywood and the plywood, this will ride like this on the plywood. This will ride like this. And you're saying, well, okay, how are you going to have this so it won't be too much friction? With the weight of a generator with a full tank of gas, it's probably weighing about 125, 130 pounds. That's where Harbor Freight came in. These are little roller bearings. One inch roller bearing. They have them a little smaller than this. Each one of these is rated at a maximum of 150 pounds. There's going to be six of them underneath that plywood. They are going to roll, once I get the two vertical tracks in here, they are going to roll like this. I just put some 3-in-1 oil in this hole here. Now they're going to roll on a 2 by 6 Six of them. So... It'll definitely support the generator because just one of these alone can support maximum 150 pounds. The generator jaw slide where the generator is going to sit on, the half inch plywood would be about 39, 40 inches long. It'll come out to just about here. Or maybe I'll make it a little, maybe I'll make it 38 or 39. Okay, so when you're pulling this out, you're pulling this out over. Naturally, you, you can't have this business. So there'll be a portable 2x6 platform that'll just lay in here, be supported here temporarily, so that I can pull this out as much as I need it, depending how long I want to make that platform. And you're asking, why do you want to pull the thing out? Well, the simple reason is if I need to get on the back of the generator. If you look at the back of the generator, if I need to get at the spark plug to change the plug or anything, this part of the generator here is going to be facing the wall. This wall. So naturally, if the generator is sitting in here, I'm not going to be able to get at the plug unless I take the whole thing right out. And there's several reasons why I want to make the slide. One of them is, let's say the slide is pulled out that much. Okay, this is the end that the generator would be here. I'd be able to get it to pull start and pull it from here. Once I got it running and set the choke and everything else, then this thing could be slid right up against here, locked into place with a pin that'll drop down to the floor to keep it from rolling. The generator and the wheels and everything will be sitting on this plywood, which is going to have six of those roller bearings underneath them. And the 2x3 will be a guide to keep it going straight. And as I said, the plywood slide itself will have these on the edges. So that, you know how the edge of plywood is, it's going to be uh, separating sometimes. And binding action, you don't want no binding action. So when it comes up against the sides, of the guides which I'm going to be making out of this 2x3 it'll be a smooth action so 
there'll be a little play naturally you want a little bit of movement side to side you don't want these hugging right up in there you probably want uh, maybe a good quarter inch at least on each side but right now what I'm going to be doing is concentrating on how long of an overhang of 2x6 where the wheels of my generator will run in and the thing needs to be from here over to here it don't need to be right here because you see where this door is here if you look right here because it's going against the homemade flower boxes which the flowers look like hell anyways uh, you can't open it any more than that unless I took the flower boxes down so let's take a measurement of that width there it looks like we're 22 and a half inches from the start of this 2x6 to here all right let's see if the generator is wider than that if we need to we can come all the way out to here but we do have to have room to lay the 2x6 on end and you don't want to come up against here because that inside piece for this door that you see here it'll be interfering with that so we got to think of all these things okay oh. This is one of the reasons why I want to get this out of here, so I have some room to work. Let's take a measurement from this wheel to this wheel. Now, worst case scenario, I mean, I could take the wheel off, wheel kit off that I built, and mount this directly to the plywood, and have the whole thing slide as in unison, but the wheels are going to be locked in place anyways. And if I have to pull this out into the yard or anything, I need the wheels, so let's just take a measure. I gotta put this camera down so I can open up my tape measure here. It looks like we're 22 inches exactly to the outside of this wheel, to the outside of this wheel. I'm not concerned about the axle or anything else. So we're 22 inches. So let's go back over and check that out and see if we can accommodate that. And in the future, if I ever got a bigger generator, well, they're not going to be much wider than this unless you go to like a 10,000 water, and we can't afford that anyways. So uh, if I got a 5,000 watt, I don't think it's going to be any wider than that. I doubt it, but it could be an inch or two, but let's just go check. All right, well, to be exact, we're 22 and a half inches. So in actuality, I could take and bring my 2 by 3 over oh I would say uh, three quarters of an inch to give myself a little leeway three quarters of an inch away from this bottom sill for the door I can bring that two by six out and still clear this because you got to remember the axle is going to stick out but the generator can be moved left to right and then mounted to the board by way of u-clamps um, or something like that so in other words, I can just still remove it off the wheels if I need to. Off the wheels, off the board, I should say. Up here, I got a, I got a limit of this. This is my limit right here because of this door. Um, other option would be to cut the, uh, not cut the flower box out of there, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I made those things up years ago. Uh, so door can be 39, 40 inches long. This door closes on here, not on here, so. Okay, so that's what we're limited to. So the two by three on vertical would be mounted right here. Okay, the other runner on vertical will be mounted probably back here a little bit. I think we can do that. If the weather holds up, I don't want to get the plywood out and all my tools and have it start raining on me. Okay, that's how she be. I'll just drill down about, you know, less than halfway and put my two inch uh, heavy duty screws in there. And same with this one. This way, if I ever have to remove it, I can do it. Now this uh, little uh, level here, I got it at the dollar store. 
it's exactly one inch wide so I decided to use a one inch uh, clearance here instead of um, three quarters this, and this gives me from here to here about 23 inches and I read measured the generator wheels there are 21 and a half inches from outside to outside of each tire so I'm I definitely got a good safety margin here so what I'm going to do now is to scoot drill and screw these down I'll come back to on the video when I'm done with that. Okay, I've got these uh, secured down and the plywood I had to cut about a quarter inch shorter, uh, narrower I should say. She comes out to about 40 inches here which is fine and uh, there'll be a handle on here that won't interfere with the wheels. It'll be a low profile handle and you just pull it out. I gotta put the wheels on that, them little balls that I showed you from Harbor Freight. So if I need to work on a generator, I can pull it out to any length I want once I get some kind of a support underneath there, which will be a folding support that I can put away. So then what I gotta do now is to put the edging on. All right, this is what I did here. Now this slide's pretty good and there isn't any, any uh, rollers on it yet, but of course naturally when you got the heavy generator on there, you know, it's going to be not as easy, so. Now, when I get the wheels on that thing, then I'll devise like I say, I make them out of two by six because this is an inch and a half here from here up to here. So we want to make it come out even. So I'll have a couple of, well, we actually got to have four two by sixes to come out to, I don't know, maybe it out to there. And uh, it'll have a, some kind of a stand to sit there so I can pull it out and the whole thing will be just stored. Now I take these rollers and put it under here. She's still sitting roughly about three quarters of an inch. And you know, you don't mind this side to side a little bit here. I mean, if, the, if, it, if it rattles or anything, I can just stick little temporary wedges in there to keep it from going like that when the generator is running. But that's very minor stuff, but I think that's what we're gonna do. If the generator was very lightweight, like, uh, you know, 40 pounds or so, I wouldn't bother with the wheels, but we've got a 106 pound generator with uh, four gallons of gas, so I'm estimating, uh, I don't know, 130, 140 pounds, all total. Counting another, maybe, uh, half a pound or maybe even eight less than that uh, with the exhaust pipe which is going to be coming out and going into this door here which is a later on project I got to do one thing at a time here so I got to get this device first so I got to put all these little boobies on here today I just stuck them on there just uh, you know, but this is where they're gonna go they're gonna go on the not right on the edge I want them to run like the center of the two by six so I'll have to draw a line and see where these are going to be. So we need to have them. So when I pull this halfway out, this is supported. And being that this is a 40 inch piece of plywood, you do need more, and it's only half inch thick. You do need more than just four, which is originally what I was only going to have. I was going to use three quarter. I've got one piece of three quarter but it's underneath everything in the side shed and I'm not about to dig it out. Okay, now each one of these is gonna be mounted like this. Now you're probably wondering what these holes are here. Well, this is gonna be mounted here, but this is the top of the board. You have to have a way of oiling these things every once in a while. And there's a little oil hole right here. It doesn't say that on the instructions, but I put a little three-in-one oil in there and it runs out on this, no big deal. 
because I don't think these are ball bearings or anything. I just I think it's just smooth cup in here, but you do have to oil it. So naturally, when this is on this way, then you stick your three-in-one oil can in here and oil them from the top. You don't have to take them off and oil them or take the generator off and put oil here. You know, it's called stinking ahead. I mean thinking ahead. <laughs> Okay, we got all the boobs mounted, and there's the oil holes here. So I'm ready to put this in. So let's give her a try. Okay, it's in. Now naturally, without this piece in here, she's going to drop off the cliff, so to speak. And there's a little plate, because that's what you want. You want to be able to move this in and out. Naturally, the second set of wheels, the ones in the middle, should come out to about there. But I could make the extension longer to support that. But my intention is, I don't even need to pull it out this far to get the pull start. But if I have to replace the plug, well, that's another story. You can see where the oil is running. But I'd rather have too much oil on them than not enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some kind of a some kind of a handle because the two by sixes are coming up flush with this. So I could probably put a little piece of wood in here and mount a handle on there or I can mount a handle right here just so I can pull this out. Naturally it'll have a stop. When this is running I'll probably have to make a hole here or somewhere in this area and drop a, a eye bolt or something down in there to keep it keep it up there. So there's going to be a little play. You got to expect that. That's what I want. You don't want that thing so damn tight you won't be able to push it in and out. All right, I put some braces on here. I couldn't find any more furring strip. This is old one from the screen house. And this is a leftover from the uh, trim on the porch. And so I put a half inch piece of plywood here. That just stiffens it up a little bit. Screwed it in, glued it down and everything. So now I can mount the handle on one end here, the end that I'm going to be pulling out. And then I got to devise that uh, extension out there so that I can pull this thing out as far as I need to pull it out. You know, I just thought of something. This kind of looks almost like a, those casket sliders when you pull it out from the hearse, you know? Of <laughs> course, it's only a 40-inch casket. <laughs> so. Yeah. So that should be good. That can mean that can come out almost to the you know total length. But I gotta I gotta make this part up here that's going to go onto there and then support it down here, but it'll be um removable.